Hello everybody, welcome to the digital image processing tutorial video. In this video, I will show you how to do an affine transformation using Python. To do the affine transformation, I will use the affine transformation function from SciPy Python library. The function is under ndimage.affine underscore transform. This function takes two input variable. The first one is the input or the original image, and the second input is the transformation matrix. For the transformation matrix, I will refer to the transformation matrix from Wikipedia page. You can click this link and it will show you this image. So here there are 9 affine transformation matrix. In this tutorial, we will create all of this matrix using NumPy array. And this Jupyter notebook file, I already uploaded into my GitHub repository. The link is available in the video description. You can visit that link to download this Jupyter notebook file. Alright, now I will open my Jupyter notebook file in Google Colab and show you how to do the affine transformation one by one. First, I will explain about the libraries, my input or the original image, and the plot function. The first cell here will give me access to my file in Google Drive. If you are not using Google Colab, you don't need this code. Okay, let us now import the libraries. Next, I will load my input image using the hybrid function and let us load it as a grayscale image. Now I will free view the input image using the PLT I'm show as well as add the labels into both axes. Alright, this is my input image or the original image and I will apply an affine transformation to this image. As you can see here, I put the X axis label in vertical axis and the Y axis label in the horizontal axis. This is because for image in Matplotlib, the origin or the 0,0, .0 coordinate is located in the top left corner. If you are new in this kind of image plot, I already prepared an example here. There are two images here. The image on the left is the image display using Matplotlib, and this green circle is the origin which is located in the top left corner. Now, I will rotate the image and the origin now is located in the bottom left corner. Most of the time, we see an image in this way, but not in the Matplotlib plot. So that is why I put the x-axis label in the vertical axis and the y-axis label in horizontal axis in Matplotlib plot. Okay, now let us go back to Google Cloud. Next, I create the plot function. This function will display two images, the original image and the result or the transform image. Okay, let us begin the affine transformation with the identity transformation. The identity transformation matrix is shown here. As the transformation name, the matrix is an identity matrix. To create this matrix, we can use the numpy array function. Let's ask around this cell. Next, we apply the affine transformation using the ndimage.affine underscore transform function and preview the result. As shown in this result, the original image and the transform image are the same. Now let us move to the translation transformation. According to this image, the translation matrix will move the origin of the image without change the image size. The variable x control the translation in x-axis and the variable y control the translation in y-axis. First, I will translate the image only in x-axis or y-axis, then I will translate the image in both axes. For translation in x-axis only, we just put some number in x variable and put 0 in y variable. The number 1000 here mean that I will translate the image 1000 pixel in x-axis. And because this is positive value, this will translate or move the image into negative x-axis. Let us run this cell to apply the event transformation and see the result. Alright, this is the result. Now let us try to translate the image only in y-axis direction. Let us apply the affine transformation and preview the result. Alright, this is the result image. And finally, we do the translation in both x and y axis. Let's we create the matrix first, and then we apply the affine transformation and preview the result. So alright, this is the result of translation both in x and y axis. The third affine transformation is the scale transformation. According to this Wikipedia image, there are two variables. The variable w will scale the image in x-axis and the variable h will scale the image in y-axis. And as the result, the scale transformation will change the image size. 
First, I will do the scale transformation on the x axis or y axis. Then I will do a scale transformation in both axes. And last, I will show you how to do a scale transformation where the origin of the image is in the center. To do the scale transformation on the x axis, we just need to put a number not equal to 1 in variable w and set the variable h equal to 1. Let us apply the affine transformation and preview the result. Alright, so this is the scale image in x axis only. Now, if we set the variable w equal to 1 and variable h not equal to 1, we will scale the image only in y axis. Now let us do the scale transformation in both axes. Please note here I set the variable w and h larger than 1 and this will make the image smaller. Let's reapply the affine transformation and preview the result. As you can see in the result, the image is smaller than the original image. And one thing you might notice is the result image is located in the top left corner. Now if you want to get the result image located in the center, we can do that by combining the translation and scale transformation matrix. So in this cell here, I create the combination of translation matrix and the scale transformation matrix. And this matrix will give us the scale result in the center. First, we create a translation matrix that will move the image origin to the center of the image. Next, we create the scale transformation matrix. And we also need to create a translation matrix that will bring back the origin of the image to the top left corner. For the variable x and y in translation matrix, we just need to put a half value of the image width and a half value of the image height. To combine these three transformation matrix, we need to multiply them all using the matrix multiplication. The add symbol here is a NumPy multiplication operator. Let us run this cell to create this transformation matrix. Let us now apply the affine transformation and preview the result. Alright, as you can see here, now the scale image is located in the center. Now, let us do the reflection transformation. There are three reflection transformation metrics here. We can reflect the image about the origin, reflect about x-axis, and reflect about y-axis. Let us start by reflect the image about x-axis. We create the transformation metric using NumPy array, apply the affine transformation, and preview the result. As you can see here, the transform image is a blank or a black image. So why we got this result? Let us now go back to Wikipedia image and focus on this image. The dashed line show the original image and the solid line show the transform image. In the original image, the red and blue dot is located in the positive x and y axis. But in transform image, the red dot now is located in the negative y axis. In other words, the transform image is located in different coordinates. This is the same with the other two reflection transformation. Therefore, to preview the transform image from reflection transformation, we should move the transform image back to positive x and y axis using the translation transformation. And to do that, we need to combine the reflection transformation matrix with the translation matrix. Okay, let us now create the transformation matrix. Here we create the reflection matrix and create the translation matrix. Because we only need to move the image in y axis, therefore we only set the variable y in this matrix. And we combine these two matrix using the matrix multiplication. Now let us apply the affine transformation and preview the result. Alright, now we can see the transform image. The procedures are the same if we reflect the image about y axis. First, we create the transformation matrix, which is combined the reflection transformation matrix with the translation matrix. And the translation matrix here, we just need to set the variable x because we need to move the image in the x-axis only. Let us apply the affine transformation and preview the result. Alright, we now see the result here. For the last reflection, we will reflect the image about the origin. And according to this Wikipedia image, the transform image is located in the negative x and y axis. So we need to do the translation in both axes. Okay, let us first create the transformation matrix, apply the affine transformation and preview the result. Okay, great. So this is our transform image, which is we reflected about the origin. Now let us do the rotation transformation. This is the rotation matrix transformation. 
the magnitude of the rotation is defined by the sine and cos function. We need to specify the annual theta. Here I create the annual theta using numpy.py. The numpy.py function will give us 180 degrees. Here I divide it with 6, so the angle theta is equal to 30 degrees. Let us now create the transformation matrix. For the cos and sine function, you guys can use the numpy sine and cos function. Let us now apply the affine transformation and see the result. As we can see here, we rotate the image about 30 degrees in clockwise direction. This result is different from the image in the Wikipedia page. If you look in this image here, this transformation matrix is rotate the image 30 degrees in counterclockwise direction. If you want to rotate the image in counterclockwise direction, you just need to put a negative value in this sine function in the first column. Let us create the transformation matrix, apply the event transformation, and preview the result. Alright, so this is the result. We rotate the image about 30 degrees in counterclockwise direction. Similar to the scale transformation, we also can rotate the image about the center by moving the origin to the center of the image. The procedure here are the same. We create the translation matrix that move the origin to the center of the image. Then we create the rotation transformation matrix as well as the translation matrix that move back the origin to the top left corner. And we combine those three matrix using the matrix multiplication. Let us run the cell, apply the affine transformation and preview the result. Alright, now we rotate the image above the center of the image. The last affine transformation is the cell transformation. First, I will do the cell transformation in Y axis. Let us run the cell to create the transformation matrix and then we apply the affine transformation and preview the result. Alright, so this is the cell image in the Y axis direction. If you want to do the cell transformation in opposite direction, you just need to put a negative value in this time function. Now let us preview the result. Alright, so this is the result. Okay, let us now do the cell transformation in X axis. We create the transformation matrix using NumPy array and then apply the affine transformation and preview the result. Alright, we did all this nine affine transformation. I hope you understand and learn something from this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial video.